Hey guys, welcome back to another video. For today's video, I have a perfume haul and this is going to be a Middle Eastern perfume haul. I have four fragrances to share with you today. I've had these for quite a while and I haven't had the chance to film the haul. So I cannot wait to share these with you guys and share my first impressions with you. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Amy. I do videos on all things girly, especially videos on smelling good, fragrance. So if you love those types of videos, don't forget forget to subscribe before you leave today's video. I would love to have you back for my future uploads. And with that said, let's jump right into today's video. I have like created this schedule where I only film on Saturdays. So that's the day that my husband is home. He can help me with the girls. That way during the week, I can focus on being mommy, on school drop off, pick up, um, being with my toddler, which she's still at home with me. And I work on editing during the week. So that's kind of like the schedule that I found works the best for me. And I don't go through mom guilt, which if you're a mom, you know, that's a very real thing. So that's why you will see me with like the same look in a lot of videos is because I film a lot of videos in one day. And usually it's about three videos for the week, but this week I filmed a lot of videos for you guys. I have a lot of content I wanted to share. I have hauls and fall fragrance videos and just a lot of good stuff. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. So this is my last video of the day. I have been talking for ever. I'm ready for some food and for some family time because we're gonna be doing movie night tonight. So those are the plans for me today. So if you're interested in my makeup look, you're going to be able to find that in the short section of my channel where I will break it down into eyes, lips, and face. That way you can see all of the details but for those of you who love to know the lip color, today I'm wearing Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liner in Foxy Brown. So I lined my lips with this and then I didn't know which one to choose from these two. These are the Urban Decay. I'm, I don't even know what these are called, but they're like liquid lipsticks and they're pretty much like the higher end version of the Maybelline Vinyl Ink lip colors. So they pretty much do the same thing. You shake them up and they're like a liquid lipstick, but they dry down. They stay kind of like with a glossy finish, but they do not. They do not come off. So if anything comes off, it's just my lip liner, but you can talk and they're going to last forever. So I started off with Law of Attraction, which is like a lighter brown shade, but then I realized I wanted a more like dark vampy brown. So I went for Once Strangers, which is a beautiful brown for fall time. So that's it for all of the randomness. Let's get right into the haul. I picked up a few scents. Some of them were recommended to me by you guys and then others i've just seen them raved about so we're going to get into them all right this first one was raved about like no other on tiktok and the description that people gave for this one or one person gave for it was hilarious it was like a woman with her boobs out with fruits that was the description so i'm sure you already know where i'm going with that this is harim al sultan Sultan. So here is the packaging for this one. This one is a perfume oil. So it's not a, like a standard spray bottle. And I ordered from Amazon. So I will put the links to these fragrances below. So here is the packaging for it. So it just, every time I see things like this, it just makes me think of like Aladdin from Disney. That was one of my favorite movies to watch. So it just makes me think of Jasmine and like just the jewels and all of that. That's kind of what comes to my mind. But the main accords for this oil are fruity, citrus, white floral, woody, sweet, floral, powdery, musky, fresh, spicy, and fresh. The top notes are bergamot, jasmine, and peony. Middle notes are pineapple, peach, and plum. And the base notes are musk, patchouli, and sandalwood. So there's a mix of notes that I love and there's a mix of notes that usually do not work for me. So, when you open this up, it looks like this. It has like a little dropper. It's like a glass. You cannot press anything. You literally just swipe this on your skin and you just apply it that way. So I plan on mixing it with like some body, unscented body lotion and putting it on that way. So these are first impressions because I've only smelled them once when I received them in the mail, but I have not worn them. So I cannot talk on longevity, performance none of that it's just strictly 
how I like the scent of them. And this is good. This smells fruity, but expensive. When I used to talk about fruity fragrances when I was living in Puerto Rico, I always classified fruity fragrances into like two categories. You have like your regular fruit basket with like apples, bananas, strawberries, and those are like your standard fruits. And then you have your exotic tropical fruit basket, which is like pineapple and mango and guava and papaya and those types of fruits, like fruits that are not found just easily. And those always smell a little bit more tropical to me than just regular fruits. So this definitely has like a more luxurious exotic fruit feel to it. Now, will I sit here and say that this is like the best thing that I've smelled ever? Not really. Like I'm not that excited about it, but I will say that if you love fruity fragrances, it's not a juvenile fruity. It's not like body mist fruity. It is a grown up woman and she's sexy fruity. Like it's a really nice scent. I would love to use this like after a shower and I just lotion up my body and put this on. It will make you smell, for some reason all I think about is just exotic. Exotic and sexy and like just intoxicating in like a fruity way. The crazy thing about this one is that I cannot say that I pick up these notes. What am I, I don't even know what I'm picking up honestly because I can't say that I pick up pineapple I don't really pick up peach. I don't really pick up bergamot. I pick up fruits, but they're so blended that I can't tell you what fruit I'm smelling. And plum usually doesn't work for me, but in here, it's not bothering me. It does not smell like that type of plum that I don't like. The patchouli is not earthy. It's not dirty. It's not strong. The sandalwood is not strong. Everything is just perfectly balanced in here. And it just smells like an expensive fruity oil. That's kind of like my thoughts on this one is exotic, sexy, grown woman that smells like a basket of like the most expensive fruits arrangement ever. Oh, but it smells good. It smells good. And it has like this candied sweet scent to it. I definitely need to wear it a few times to be able to tell you like if I really love it. But first impression wise, it is really nice. It's nice quality, it smells good. I don't know how it's going to project or how it's going to smell because it's definitely like, that's how it looks and it's definitely close to the skin. Like it's not something that I'm smelling from far away but maybe once I spread it out and put like unscented lotion with it and have it all over my body, maybe I can get more of like a scent bubble out of it. But yeah, it's just fruity. So exotic, grown up fruits, sexy fruits. That's kind of what I get from this one. So yeah, I'm excited to add it to my collection and I'll definitely update you guys once I have more like experience with it. Next up, we're gonna get into one that I, this hasn't happened to me in a long time. I've been doing a lot of blind buying. I've been doing a lot of like buying travel sizes and trying new perfumes and I have not had this happen in a minute where a fragrance is just so off-putting to me. I almost want to say ill. But I don't like to say that on my channel because I know that people, like a lot of people like this. So it's probably just my skin. It's probably just a me problem, but I cannot. This is going to be on my Mercari. I cannot put this on. I cannot have it near me. I cannot smell it. I don't know what it is about it. We're going to get into it. And I cannot wait to hear your thoughts because I'm pretty sure for the most part, a lot of you are going to say that you love it because it's been raved about as well. And I thought I was going to love it too, but it just is no for me. I love the bottle of it. I love the way it sounds on Fragrantica. Like I wanted to love everything about it with my heart and soul. And it is just no, no. No puedo. So this one is by La Tafa and this is Kaed Al Fursan. So here is the packaging for it. Got this one off of Amazon as well. And the bottle is super cute. I like the bottle. So here is the bottle. Isn't it like beautiful? It looks expensive and gorgeous. The bottle is beautiful. The main accords for this fragrance are vanilla, coconut, sweet, powdery, woody, musky, tropical, citrus, yellow floral, and lectonic. It sounds like an Amy fragrance. Like, for real. It sounds like something I would love. And the top, let me, the, if you look at the notes, this is not what I'm getting. But I know what the problem is, so we'll talk about it. So the top notes are coconut, citruses, and pineapple. Yes. 
Middle notes, Ylang Ylang, Jasmine, and Frangipani. Fine. Jasmine, sometimes a little iffy, but I have a lot of phrases with Jasmine, and they're fine, as long as the Jasmine is not too prominent. And then the bass notes, Vanilla, Musk, and Sandalwood. You guys, when I tell you that this to me is repugnant, like my body, my nose, I cannot. And it's just, unfortunately, it's the sandalwood. This is the type of sandalwood. I don't even know why I just did three sprays of this. <laughs> I cannot. It just smells so thick. Why? Why does this? It, it smells like sandalwood with thick coconut that someone poured like a whole bottle of pepper over. Why do I get pepper? I don't know because there's like no pepper. I would like to at least think I'm not the only one, like I'm not alone here because I see so many raves about this one. I even saw a good friend, which I always talk to her on Instagram, Beauty by Ralu. I hope I'm saying that right. She recently posted about this one and she really liked it. If you're watching my video, let me know how it comes off, like how it smells on your skin. You really pick up on like a, a pineapple coconut tropical scent because I, my, my nose is broken. It just does not pick that up. And like, I'm literally letting you guys know what I smell is sandalwood with coconut, like a very thick and creamy coconut. Like if you were drinking like a medicine that tasted like coconut where it was so thick that you didn't want to, you know, like it just gets stuck here with a bunch of pepper on top. That is what I smell with this. And that is crazy because I thought I was really going to love it. So this one is going to be sold on my Mercari soon. It's pretty much brand new. I only sprayed it today and maybe a couple times just to try it out. It smells the same on the tester strip. I, it has to be that sandalwood because I do struggle with sandalwood a lot. So that one's definitely a skip for me. And I cannot wait to hear if some of you guys have tried it out and what your thoughts are on it. Okay, so this next one was recommended by one of you guys, which I'm going to try and find the comment. And you told me. I don't know exactly what the comment was saying, but it was something like if you enjoy Casablanca and you want like a vanilla version of that, like softer, get this one. And I that caught my attention. So I searched it up and I ordered it right away. And this one is Casamat Ebar by Razazi. And here is the box for this one. So really cute packaging. And the bottle is gorgeous. Like I am here for this bottle. This is so nice. It looks luxurious. It looks expensive. It's heavy. The cap is not super weighted, but it's not light either. So really, really nice. So the main accords for this one are vanilla, sweet, powdery, fruity, fresh, citrus, iris, amber, musky, and green. The top notes are green apple and lemon. Middle notes are orris root, damask rose, jasmine, and lotus. And the base notes are vanilla, praline, tonka bean, and musk. So this is the reason why I got rid. Uh, I just finished filming a declutter video. If you haven't watched that, I did mention there that I did declutter my Swiss Arabian Casablanca, which was a favorite for fall time for a couple years, two, three years. And then I also got rid of the Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods because they all kind of have like the same vibe and I decided to keep this one over those three I love this so thank you to the person who recommended it to me because Casablanca is beautiful but sometimes it could be a little to me on the strong side my bottle was very nicely macerated so whoever bought that one it is like it was thick it was strong it was long lasting but some days it could be a little too much for me where this one has like the perfect mix of like a vanilla opening like a sugary opening with that apple as well the same as casablanca but then it it stays kind of like more airy it's not as dense but it smells very similar to Casablanca. So if you already own Casablanca, I would not say that you need to go and run and get this. But if you do love that DNA or if you want one that's a little, a little softer, or airy, this is beautiful, beautiful. Perfect for fall time. It smells like a dessert. So sweet, so yummy. It's so good, sugary, beautiful, beautiful. 
I still need to wear it to see how it's going to last on my skin and everything. But the main thing that I can say about it is, is if you own Casablanca, you don't need it because it would be a little too redundant. But that's kind of like in the lane that it's going. But it's definitely more like, I would say almost like fluffy and airier to me. It's vanilla, so it's definitely a vanilla scent. It's very, very gourmand and like intoxicating really really nice delicious it smells really really good and yeah that's the reason why i decluttered those two other fragrances was because of this one so this is the one that i decided to keep in my collection so i'm very excited to start wearing that and update you guys on this one and then last but not least this was recommended by a lot of you guys here we have latafa nebras look at this bottle you guys these bottles are beautiful gorgeous and the main accords for this fragrance are vanilla sweet cacao amber warm spicy powdery fruity the top notes are red berries and mandarin orange middle notes are vanilla cacao and rose and the base notes are sugar tonka bean musk and amber so this one i remember when i picked up i think it was choco musk and i said that it was kind of similar to eilish just a little bit softer and one of you guys was like the dupe for eilish is nebras and absolutely right this is pretty much that scent so i don't know if it was like worth it for me but i am pretty low on my eilish it's more than halfway or halfway done so i can just keep this one once that one is done oh, i think i might like this one better so if eilish was a little too spicy for you which was my problem with it when i first got it is that it smelled very very spicy even though it does dry down to a sweet beautiful vanilla i feel like this one is already like the when it's starting to dry down when eilish is starting to dry down i feel like this is how this one opened up it has a spiciness to it for sure and it also has like a fresh spice it smells so good you guys this is chocolatey spicy vanilla just intoxicating i think think i might like this one better than the eilish but they're very similar so if you have eilish i wouldn't necessarily like run to get this one unless you're running low on that one but it does have like that same sugary kind of dry down with the spiciness and the warmth and it's just perfection for fall and winter i could have mentioned this in my fall perfumes too it's just that it's too new to my collection but oh my god this is beautiful quality beautiful bottle beautiful perfume smells amazing i hope that it performs as good so yummy a spicy chocolatey vanilla perfect gourmand scent so i'm very very happy with three of the four that i picked up and i cannot wait to hear your thoughts on these fragrances so that brings me to the end of today's video comment down below if you own any of these if you're interested in any if you love some if you hate some let me know i love when you guys share your opinions and your reviews in the comment section so that viewers who are looking for reviews of these fragrances don't just take my thoughts on it they can also read other people's experience so i always just ask you guys and urge you to comment because it just helps a lot i know when i'm watching videos i always read comments because i love to hear other people's opinions on fragrances so i cannot wait to talk to you guys in the comment section thank you so much for being here today give this video a big thumbs up and that is it for me for this week so i will see you guys in the next one take care Bye.